Now we get into some more of the fun here. We're going to talk about setting up and adding tests. What's going to differ from the blog post here is nowadays Node has built-in test capabilities and modules, a test runner, assertion libraries, all that fun stuff where we were normally relying on third-party packages like Mocha or Chai or Jest. We can now get rid of that. So let me show you how to get that set up with the built-in capabilities in Node. Really quick, ever since version 20 of Node.js, the test runner has been in stable or in version 18 or 16.17, you could use it behind an experimental flag, okay? So as long as you're on one of those versions, you can rely on this built-in test runner. Otherwise, you can lean on what's described in the blog post about Mocha and Chai, to get your test working for the project. All right, back over in our project, we're gonna create the SRC folder. And in there, we're gonna create an index.ts file. And then I'm going to paste in the sample code that we have for the modern package. Again, very boring here, but we have export hello world function, goodbye function, and then we export those under the default export what those functions are here. Okay. Now we have some code to test against. Let's create our tests. To do that, first thing we're going to do is in the root directory, create a test folder. In the test folder, we're going to create a new file. And the naming convention matters here when using the Node.js test runner. So in the blog post, we talk about calling it index.spec.js or ts. But when it comes to Node.js by default, it will recognize test files based on index.test naming convention. You could use spec if you want and just add that into the configuration or an argument as you run the test runner. But in this case, we're going to go with the default. 